So what's our first chore of the day? Laundry? No, where are we going right now? Oh, trash. <laughs> trash. <laughs> you gotta find the, the nearest dumpster. Yes, ma'am. Which, we're actually super lucky that this campground had a dumpster at all. It's very rare. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to a day in the real van life. Today we're doing chores, but we're also doing some sightseeing, and we're also doing some road tripping, so it's basically everything that we do um, to live on the road full time. Van life is not a vacation, it is real life, it's just that we do things a little bit differently than you might do living in a house. So, I just showed you how we throw away trash, now we are gonna go do some laundry and take some showers, if we can find some showers that are open, cause I'm not feeling super down for an outdoor shower, it's freaking super windy today. Obsessed. I wish I had a reason to want a vehicle that long. <laughs> Look at all these buses. <laughs> like so many. All trying to get that waterfront view. First, we have to brave this five mile dirt road out of camp. This is a super daily occurrence, so luckily it's not, you know, the worst dirt road we've ever done. To a laundromat, 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 laundromat. <laughs> uh, a lot of people do ask us how we do laundry on the road. This is one of the ways we find laundromats wherever we are. It's a couple bucks and we can wash all of our clothes super easily. So that is going to be Jared's task for the day. I'm going to get to work um, because being two people, we get to multitask a little bit. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna send the camera into the laundromat with him because I'm pretty sure you know how laundry works, but um, Yeah, that is one of the ways that we do laundry on the road and Yeah, just for those of you who are curious or who are starting your road journey and are wondering how you do basic household things when you don't have a house Laundromat was closed Yeah, uh, I guess they're installing new machines Which is why the parking lot looks like this. Yeah, I was super excited. <laughs> yeah, can't be that easy, huh? Well, Jared looks for a new laundromat. I wanted to show you guys two of the ways that we get Wi-Fi on the road. Um, when it was before COVID times, I would go to Starbucks um, or coffee shops, local coffee shops, to get Wi-Fi, which I loved doing because it made it so I didn't have to use my own gigs. However, We've had to be a little innovative since the world shut down, so I'm gonna show you the ways that we get Wi-Fi on the road so that I can work, because I do run multiple businesses online. So, let's go. These are our two options for Wi-Fi. I have my phone plugged in right now. I can go into my electric setup in another video. One of the options is my cell phone hotspot for Wi-Fi. I get 15 gigs a month on my phone. Jared gets 30, so combined we have 45, and then this, is a Skyroam Solus Lite device, which gives me another 20 gigs of hotspot data. So that's a whole 65 gigs. I think it's pretty good, pretty good options there. With all three of those devices combined, I've never had a problem getting everything that I need to get done done during the month. The Skyroam is actually the result of me running out of gigs one month, but it's really nice to just like know that I have enough um, to go around because I do YouTube and Instagram for work and I run a blog and I sell my art and I also have like writing clients. It's a whole lot, but here we are. Wi-Fi on the road is a lot easier than a lot of people think, so don't let that hold you back. All right, we found an open laundromat and there's a bunch of vans here so you know what everyone else is doing. I need to plug my computer in, but other than that, I'm ready to get to work. I have a lot to do today. Um, I'm basically letting go of a bunch of my writing clients starting in March, so I have to like finish up a bunch of projects for them, but it's okay because that means that I'm gonna have time to do what I love doing starting 
on March 1st or just after March 1st. So I'm gonna go start that. Um, and then we're gonna head toward Valley of Fire, I think. Um, it's dog friendly, we just found out. So we're really excited to be able to do some hikes with our boy and probably take an outdoor shower because it doesn't look like anywhere in town is open for public showers right now. <laughs> just finished working and putting away clothes and now I'm just waiting for the rest of last week's YouTube video to op uh, to upload um, today has been a big busy day um, and we found a spot tonight with cell service which I'm super excited about because it has been like three weeks of parking at places with no cell service so I'm just super excited to be able to like stream something tonight post on Instagram all that uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Hallie's Wandering Soul, and I post almost daily updates um, on my feed and daily updates on my story. So definitely get on that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna stand here and wait for this YouTube video to do its thing. But that was kind of <laughs> the gist of a chores day in the van. Sorry, this video wasn't all too super exciting but I am gonna take you on the journey to actually find our camp spot for the night um, before we head to Valley of Fire which I think is gonna be next week's vlog um, I did do a vlog on Valley of Fire back when I was living in my Kia Soul um, so it'll be really cool to go in the van with Jared and Lawson <laughs> So it's looking like we found a BLM spot. It's not quite as nice as some of the spots that we've stayed recently, but it's a spot it'll do for the night. And there's cell service, which is always a plus. I am gonna let you guys go for this one. Thank you so much for joining us on this little day in the real van life uh, and putting up with all of our chores and work and all of that. Um, I really hope you guys had an amazing week and that you had an, have an amazing week ahead of you. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss a video. We have some gigantic adventures coming up, including Mexico and potentially Canada and Alaska. So definitely make sure that you're following along for that because it's going to be the biggest adventure we've been on as a couple so far. So we're super excited about that. Um, but yeah. Leave me a like and a comment down below if you really want to make my day. But other than that, I'm going to let you guys go. Safe travels. Oh, Jared wants to say bye. Bye. <laughs> Safe travels, guys. <laughs>